In this video, I'm going to lay out a tier list for the entire SEO profession. Search engine optimization experts, also known as SEOs, are a relatively new class to the game of making money. They're part of the overall digital marketing faction, which also includes content marketers, social media marketers, and paid ads professionals. Many players choose the SEO class just because of the sheer excitement of the challenge. These are the players that like to play on hard mode. Not only is PvP rampant among SEOs in their unending battle to get to the top of Google, but the final boss and ultimate nemesis of the SEO is Google themselves. Nonetheless, the amount of loot one can accumulate with the SEO class is virtually unlimited. Once an SEO has reached the top of the leaderboard for their given keyword, money literally rains, which subsequently causes them to spend their gold on flashy mounts such as the coveted Lambo. There's various builds that players flock to in the SEO class. Some are support builds meant to help other players level up and in turn leveling up yourself. Other builds are meant for building a large guild or clan and achieving more through numbers. And on the other hand, solo players might even prefer to go it alone and spec completely for affiliate marketing. In this video, I'll analyze each of the SEO builds in a tier list so you can choose your own path in the game. The criteria I'll be using to determine these tiers will be based on three main factors. Earnings, how much money can be made by this specific SEO job. Results, how much traffic can they get or how challenging are the keywords that can be ranked typically by the build. Job difficulty, how difficult is it to achieve the build and what skills need to be unlocked to get there. All right, let's start going through the list from E tier to S tier. And at the end, I'll touch upon a special entry to the SEO game, which definitely needs to be addressed. But before I get started, could you please address the issue with the like button? It deserves to level up just like you do. And it only takes a reaction speed of 0.1 seconds to smash a like button and boost it to its evolved status. And now that you power level the like button, let's get started. Starting with the E tier, hands down the quintessential E tier build is that of the SEO service provider. The SEO service provider build puts most of their skill points into crafting. They provide various goods and services to other SEOs. These are your writers or link builders or people building social profiles or GMB setups. These craftsmen can also include speed optimization services, website themes and builders, SEO tools, and rank trackers. Now don't get me wrong, just because the SEO service provider is at the bottom of the list doesn't mean they're not useful. They're still a very necessary part of the game. They're just not directly focused on ranking websites, so can we actually call it SEO? And don't sleep on their ability to make money. SEO tools crush it, so do content agencies, and so does any service provider that's at the top of their game. In the description, I left a link to a list of my favorite SEO products and services, so make sure to check it out. After after you watch this video. And before we move on to the next tier, if you have any recommended SEO service providers, make sure to mention them in the comments. For the D tier, we actually have two different builds that fit this rating, and that's the newbie affiliate and the junior agency employee. Both of these builds are wildly popular for casual gamers. If you're not sure about this whole SEO profession, this is likely where you want to start. Unfortunately, this group of players has collected more amounts of incorrect information about SEO than all of the other builds combined, which is completely understandable. They're newbies and we all need to start somewhere. But the problem is exacerbated when they're spending time on the wrong subreddits or foo, foo SEO blogs looking for answers. Often spouting stuff like, if you write quality content, the links will show up by themselves. And despite this being the most popular build for casual gamers, there's nothing casual about this build at all. They're doing more work than any of the other builds, period, and that's because they're doing all the tasks themselves. The newbie affiliate often goes full on free to play mode writing their own content and doing outreach to try to get free links. The junior agency employee is basically doing all the tasks that the senior employees don't have to do anymore. The plus side of working at an agency is that your first levels are experienced in a starter zone and they're going to turn on tutorial mode by giving you some basic quests like install analytics on this site please. I know I made it seem like the D tier builds have it rough but it has to be this way and you need to grind out some hard earned levels at this tier before you can unlock the skills for the next level. At the next tier, the C tier, we again have two popular builds and that's the thriving affiliate or the SEO agency manager. The thriving affiliate can typically farm about five to ten thousand dollars per month and the SEO agency manager can earn about the same just depending on what part of the map they spawned in. To get to the thriving affiliate status you need to grind out a few levels as the newbie affiliate ranking a few websites, maybe getting a flip or two. Likewise you're only likely to unlock the SEO agency manager build once you put in enough hours as a junior employee. Now both of these players have realized that there is indeed a free to play mode in the SEO game, but it just takes way too damn long. <laughs> So they decided to spec a few points into the outsourcing, hiring, and management skill trees. They start to outsource writers. They start to see what it's like managing a team. And they're beginning to see what it's like to accomplish SEO quests as a group rather than soloing everything. And because of that, they're simultaneously doing less work but getting more done. A tutorial that many players don't pay attention to in the starter zone. Moving on to the B tier, we actually have three different builds that satisfy this category. The portfolio owner, the agency owner, and the in-house enterprise SEO. 
The portfolio owner build continues to put more skill points into the management tree to the point that they're not actually doing much of the SEO anymore, but they're instead coordinating or making key decisions like purchasing and selling websites, which is key to their overall earnings. As an experienced player, they're also wise to put a few points into diversification. They know from experience that the game developers, Google, like to release new patches which can severely nerf any of their websites at any time. So they make a diverse portfolio to mitigate the risk. The agency owner too diverts their attention to high level game decisions rather than the nitty gritty. Most likely they're focused on stuff like sales or hiring new guild members. Often the agency owner acts as a guild leader, becoming the face of the agency and speaking at conferences which they use for lead generation. The third B tier build is that of the in-house enterprise SEO. Big corporations need SEO too, and they'll often hire an in-house SEO to run the show. Because the enterprise SEO is often working on mega large sites, they become masters of micromanagement and it's highly recommended to spec some points into passive buffs like meeting efficiency and email follow-ups. Enterprise SEOs commonly face drama with their own guild members who often argue back and forth, extending the time it takes to update a single title tag to an average of 14.5 days. Now let's move on to the A tier, which is home to two of the most coveted and effective builds in the game, and that's the Founder or JV Artist. The Founder build is only accessible at experience level 60. Founders have realized the power of SEO to such a degree that they use their skills to build new companies or buy existing companies and fuel their traffic with their own SEO teams. They use their SEO skills as a legendary weapon to drive businesses forward with an unfair advantage. Nick Eubanks is a solid example of this A tier archetype. He's both bought and built multiple businesses. Unfortunately, Nick is not currently streaming gameplay on Twitch. The JV Artist is another build whose primary playstyle focuses on approaching existing businesses, partnering with them to take over the traffic generation, and negotiating equity in the process. James Dooley comes to mind when I think of the JV Artist build. If the founder or JV Artist SEO style interests you, I highly recommend getting a lot of experience beforehand. These are both meant for advanced players. In addition, I suggest putting as many points as possible into the charisma stat. You'll need it for your negotiations and also hiring an A tier team as well. Now we move on to the S tier and there's really only one build that can achieve the level of earnings, results, and SEO ass kickery as they can. And that's the media group. Media groups are your mega online conglomerates that operate and own the biggest websites that you commonly visit on the internet. Brands like The Spruce, Brides.com, Very Well Fit, The Points Guy, and WebMD. Yeah, those sites. Media groups often work with the game developers themselves, getting special commission rate sheets from Amazon, for example. Media groups also put a lot of points into their algorithm resistant stats, and thus don't seem to get affected by updates as severely as other builds. They often rank for anything they want without trying simply because the enormous amount of content and links amassed through their huge budgets. But ultimately, media groups are hands down the top players in the game for their ability to rank for the hardest keywords and earn more than any of the other builds combined. Now before we conclude, I wanted to bring up one more special entry to the list, because how could I ever forget? Coming in at F tier is the ever criticized SEO Guru player build. The SEO Guru is really only good at creating YouTube videos about SEO gameplay and doesn't really have any results to back it up. But in all seriousness, thanks for watching this video that I had a lot of fun making. And please make sure to like and comment if I missed anything at all. And also make sure to subscribe for some actual SEO videos.